by fans of high-quality entertainment. So I was just doing a little uh, fun research on this band Coven. I've heard about them before, but they are kind of connected to Black Sabbath in an interesting way. And I've got a clip coming up with uh, Tony Iommi, and you'll see his reaction to, to this band. So Coven is a American rock band formed in Chicago in the late 60s. They had a top 40 hit in 1971 with the song One Tin Soldier, uh, the theme song of the movie Billy Jack. And Coven was composed of singer Jinx Dawson, bassist Greg Oz Osborne. That sounds kind of familiar. And other band members there in addition to pioneering occult rock with lyrics uh, that explicitly dealt in themes of Satanism and witchcraft, they are recognized by metal fans and metal historians as being the band that introduced the sign of the horns to rock, metal, and pop culture. And I guess, I don't know, I, I know the lead singer, the, the female lead singer, is still touring as the band Cove, and I'm not sure how many other original members are in the band now. Uh, Dawson and Osborne, after playing together in the group Him, Her, and Them, formed Coven with Ross in Chicago in the late 60s. In 1967 and 1968, they toured playing concerts with artists including Jimmy Page's Yardbirds, the Alice Cooper Band, and Vanilla Fudge. And they were signed to Mercury Records, where they're Debut was, was released in 1969 called Witchcraft Destroys Minds and Reaps Souls. And yeah, it just goes on and on. It's pretty interesting. So there is the great debut album by Black Sabbath. It was recorded in October of 1969 and released in February 1970. And the Coven album was recorded earlier a few months earlier, February 1969, and it was released in 1969, so before the Black Sabbath debut. On, of course, the Black Sabbath debut, the very first song is Black Sabbath, and if you look over to the Coven album on the right, the very first song is called Black Sabbath. Very interesting. And, uh, yeah, some really nice song titles on this. Choke, Thirst, Die. <laughs> uh, White Witch of Rose Hall. Packed with Lucifer. And my favorite, S Satanic Mass. Yeah, it's a 13-minute. I, I just heard a little bit, of, little bit of it on Spotify, and I ran away crying. S scary stuff. So it's just interesting there that, you know, and also that one of the band members' names is Oz Osborne. And I've read different things, you know, maybe Ozzy was called Ozzy. I know his real name is John, but maybe he was called Ozzy before, you know, this Coven album came out. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody can that has a better history of Black Sabbath can let me know. But it's just interesting that one of the band members is called <laughs> Osborne. Oz Osborne. And I'll show you this clip with uh, Tony Iommi. And, and by the way, I'm not uh, insinuating that Black Sabbath is doing, you know, that they stole the ideas from this band. It's just, you know, interesting for me. I love Black Sabbath. Uh, you know, especially the Aussie years. And, but you never know with music, right? There, there has been known to have ideas stolen once in a while. Fight for something. And it, it's given me that fight to, to want to get out and, and, and do it. And uh, I believe in this album that uh, it sort of comes over more, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the early days of Black Sabbath, I found, I swear, the wildest thing. I'm shopping in an old record store. Oh, no. Wait, oh, excuse me one second. This album called... Did you ever see this album before? Coven? No.
I don't know. See, right there, I'm not totally believing Tony because from a little bit of what I read, I think Black Sabbath might have been aware of this band in some way. This is a Chicago band. You never saw this before? No. This album came out in 1969, played the Black Arts Festival up in Detroit, featuring a guitar player named... That's not the same one. No, Oz Osborne. Right. First track, first sign. Tony does look a little unco uncomfortable there. One. No, Oz Osborne. Right. First track, first side. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh my goodness me. You know when you've been caught in a lie, all you have to do is pretend you don't know nothing and go, Oh my goodness me. Of Black Sabbath. And this band is one of the first that did like satanic masses, black masses on records. This has no connection? Not at all. Isn't that amazing? Well, here it is. Boy, Whoa. did I think I was going to ace did on this. Did she spot something? <laughs> <laughs> well, however, you know, got to take these crazy. Oh, goodness. Isn't that wild? And that's from 69? Yeah. We, we were there first. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they all say. We were there 67, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but under the name Earth. Yeah, but with 68, it was, then it went to Black Sabbath. Uh, See, and right there, I looked that up, and... I mean, maybe he's he's being truthful about that, but I think... According to Wikipedia, uh, they changed their name to Black Sabbath in 1969. Oh, you're saved. This record came out in 69. Within about 20 minutes, we have Phil Collins taking home more with Tony. And you have <laughs> oh, no, a Phil Collins. Coming out in a little bit. So stay with us. So there is the album cover Witchcraft, Coven, Destroys Minds and Reaps Souls. Here's the back. Looks a, a slight bit disturbing, of course. And then this is the gatefold. And you'll see the, yeah, the upside down cross there. Of course, and right there is, you know, on the very first Black Sabbath debut album, The Gatefold, with an upside-down cross, just like in The Gatefold for the Coven album. Although, I have read that the band really had nothing to do with The Gatefold, and they were kind of not very happy about, you know, having the cross upside-down, because supposedly, you know, they're all good Catholic boys, or at least some of them are. And, uh, yeah, it's just interesting. And then I also heard, there was one riff I heard from Coven's first album. And it is very similar to, I think, the song Electric Funeral on uh, the second Black Sabbath album, Paranoid. Very similar riff. And Coven had that riff first. So it's all just kind of kind of interesting. Uh, so maybe you know, Black Sabbath is is known as the uh, first of these kind of bands, heavy metal, whatever. You know the devil and everything, and maybe Coven uh, was actually the first. I don't know. I would love your thoughts on Black Sabbath versus Coven. And do you think, you know, in that in interview with Tony Iommi, do you think he actually had seen that album cover before? Because I think he had. <laughs> Thank you.